Ukraine's operational victory um, in liberating the Western Bank of the Dnieper River, in particular Kherson City, shows once again that there are some realistic scenarios of, of Ukrainian victory. And those scenarios, all of them, require two essential conditions. One of them is Ukrainian military prowess and morale for victory. That one is taken care of. But there's a second condition, and that's sustained, and I will say stepped up, Western military support. The liberation of Kherson city didn't come overnight. It was the result of a sustained campaign of interdiction, uh, including Ukrainian strikes against rear guard uh, components of the, of the Russian army in that region, thanks to, to a great extent with uh, thanks to Western equipment, the so-called HIMARS uh, system. So that teaches us two things, that Western armed supplies help uh, Ukrainian victory and to help protect cities and Ukrainian civilians, as we are seeing now with this sustained, brutal Russian campaign against, uh, uh, against civilians and against civilian infrastructure in Ukraine where the new Western air defense equipment is having an efficiency of 100%. Nonetheless, there's no time to be delusional. The war will drag on, and there's just no single decision that Putin and his entourage have taken recently that points to any will for a negotiated settlement. Rather, on the contrary, they're pinning their hopes on wearing all of us down, wearing Ukraine's down, and uh, so we're hoping for a, for a long protracted war. So there are no shortcuts for, for, for peace and possibly there'll be sustained combats of, over the winter, definitely in the Donetsk area, but also other areas. And given that there are no shortcuts, I can think that at least there's, there's one sure path for, for peace. And that's as much as possible Ukrainian victory in Ukraine against the Russian army in Ukraine, degrading Russia's capacity to sustain the invasion and the aggression against Ukraine. And to do that, it is important that the West not only sustains, but also steps up support for, for Ukraine, that when it comes in to, to military equipment, this means tanks, aircraft, and all that equipment that is record, you know, required for a proper counteroffensive. If we don't do that now, I fear we will come to regret this period as a missed opportunity for, for Ukraine and, and all of the West. Now, some of our mistakes and um, in ill-conceived analysis on, on Ukraine, in my view, spring from the fact that there's not yet a granular understanding of, of Ukraine as a nation, as a country, with its own characteristics, its socio-economic circumstances. In order to bridge this gap, I, I wrote this book in Spanish, Estación Ucrania el País que fue, for Libros del Cal, an important Spanish editorial house, that is a sustained conversation with, but most importantly, among Ukrainians. And the main protagonists of this book are Ukrainians themselves.